All right, makeup is hard enough to figure out, but what happens when you try to take it up a notch and try your hand at Halloween makeup? Well, I tell you the results if I did. Yeah. <laughs> but this year, you can learn from the talented team at the Stress Center. Sarah Berland is instructor at the Patel Conservatory and joins us today with a model. We've put her to work all morning long. What are you doing over there, Sarah? <laughs> well, we have a lovely infected zombie who is scratched by another zombie. Oh. Got some nice claw marks going on right there. Carly's I'm honestly this. disgusted by it, and I think that just proves to your talent of how real it looks. I mean, my good, where do you start? I mean, this obviously it's like building it up, right? Yes, actually. This is made out of napkins that I oh, got a, a drive through. Um, and uh, they're applied with liquid latex and then broken apart. There's a special technique to applying them so that they build up correctly and don't, so it doesn't look like you just have a napkin <laughs> Which glued is on your face. Me, I was gonna say, trying. okay, can I, I don't wanna mess anything up, but I totally gotta feel this. Go for it. I was gonna say, I don't wanna mess it up though. That's all gooey. Oh, it's on there. Oh yeah. I'll say, you feel like it's on there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we also have some lovely flap going on oh, right oh, here. Oh, that's so gross. Of course you do. <laughs> and here's what's interesting. While we're talking about zombie makeup because of Halloween and maybe people want to dive into this, the great news is people can actually learn from you. Absolutely. I am doing a workshop on September 20, October, excuse me, <laughs> October 29th, on October 29th at the Patel Conservatory at the Strass Center, $25, and I will teach you how to make yourself into a zombie. There'll be some... Is it just zombie makeup that we're going after? So that's going to be this the theme, is which is just going to be horror though, zombie. probably one of the most popular kind of themes for Halloween, is it not? Yeah. Thanks to The Walking Dead. Walking Dead, Z Nation, yeah. iZombie, all the jazz, yeah. It's uh, become quite popular and anything with blood usually draws a crowd. So I'm just gonna put some of this extra little saucy blood on there. You brought two kinds of blood with you. I brought and three, okay. four types of blood. And I wanted you to break down what that was. So this is dark blood. It's a little more uh, runny, but it still has some consistency to it. So it'll drip like this, but it won't, it won't fully fall um, away and like this one I had used before. Go ahead and smile. I sprayed some <laughs> mint. Oh, it's gone now. Oh yeah, there's flavored blood we're also flavored learning blood. from you. So I had sprayed some in there. Oh, but when it flake. drips down, it starts to go away after a little while. So you wanna use the dark blood <laughs> if you're planning to have it last all night. We apologize you if know, anyone is eating their breakfast this morning. Very true, very true. And I guess I'm curious to hear you talk about using napkins. I mean, you're gonna talk about what other different uh, items you use to make this because I'm fascinated at actually the, the layering process and how it all works. And you say it's actually more enjoyable than doing like the glam makeup, right? I like it better. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, everything I'll be teaching with is stuff that you can pick up at. I was gonna say, where do you get the supplies? Is it expensive? To, I mean, is it right ordinary? Right now you can get it at Walgreens, CBS, okay. Walmart, they're so all on sale. Your standard Halloween makeup that you can find at your typical big box stores. Yep. Okay. For the most part, this this is a little bit of specialty blood, <laughs> stage blood, but um, the blood that they have at your local stores work just as well. Uh -huh. okay. You know, and as we're uh, as we're wanted to point out the class again, but I do want to ask too at this time, talking about the the horror makeup and the popularity of it, is it easier to do on yourself or is it easier to apply it to somebody else? Because the class you're going to talk about how to do it to yourself, is that correct? That's right. It, it works either way. I will be showing a demonstration on a model and then talking them step by step as they put it on themselves hands on. Mm. So I learned on myself. So. As we wrap up, how hard is this to take off? <laughs> oh, is she going to be sporting this for the next couple days? <laughs> no, it Sorry. peels off. Oh. It looks even better coming off. <laughs> I'm sure it does. Well, once again, again, this is the Patel Conservatory at the Strass Center and the Performance Arts Makeup Workshop Behind the Curtain, the face of the zombie. Yeah, she's got it. That's the face right there. Mm -hmm. Good job. <laughs>